One year ago, researchers at the Wies Institute announced that they had developed a method for fabricating a fully biodegradable bioplastic by extracting a form of chitin from shrimp shells. This new material can be molded into everyday objects in a manner similar to synthetic plastics, but without an environmental threat. Chitin, which was first discovered in the 1800s, has been long believed by scientists to be a molecule that exists solely in invertebrates, animals without backbones such as insects and shrimp, and serves as a crucial component of their exoskeletons. As the work at the Wies Institute unfolded, Javier Fernandez, a key researcher on the project, also started exploring other potential sources of chitin in nature, with collaborators from Harvard University, Benaroya Research Institute, and the University of Washington, the team recently discovered small amounts of chitin in fish and amphibians such as salamanders. The implications of these findings could be significant. The crop industries have used pesticides for the last half a century that inhibit chitin growth, intended to control insect populations by stunting the formation of their exoskeletons without having an impact on the surrounding ecology and environment. The red-colored area on this photo indicates the presence of chitin in zebrafish, and here, the red-colored area reveals chitin in a salamander's limb. Following Fernandez's new findings, the definition of chitin has to change. How has decades of chitin-inhibiting pesticides affected these animals? We just don't know. What we do know, though, is that we must work to better understand chitin's purpose in developmental biology, and we must never stop questioning or investigating the world around us.